what can we do more to instill in young women, yeah. especially young women of color, yeah. that this is a viable option for them? You know, when I was coming up, I, I'm also a product of New York City yes. schools. It quite it didn't interest me, and I and and it had someone like you said, "Hey, yeah. we can do this." Yeah. I think it would have changed the trajectory of my life. So what can we do now, I do you think? Marcel, it's such a great question. And the fact that you're even spotlighting on this segment today um, is really, really important. We operate at Girls Who Code on two levels. We teach girls computer science, okay. but we also know how important it is to change the image of what a computer scientist looks like and does. So what you're talking about is that our girls, our non-binary students, don't see themselves right. represented. And so for us, that's why we have have these incredible campaigns. We created the world's first ever codable music video with Doja Cat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's exciting. Very exciting. I finally gained credibility with my teenage children. <laughs> That's right. And you know, we had this incredible um, campaign last year where we had Girls Who Code Girls, which was a way that any girl or any student could create their own avatar in their image. Wow. Because we know that a lot of video game characters have unrealistic portrayals sure. of That's girls right. and women. That's right. And so part of what we're trying to say also to our girls is that you can bring your passion, your creativity, your ingenuity, and have it intersect with tech. Right. If you're an artist, you're a technologist. That's right. If you're in healthcare, you're a technologist. That's right. So we're far past the point where we can opt out of tech. Right. We have to remind our young people, and especially our girls, because they don't see themselves enough in the field. That's right.